morning playing one game in the NHL, just one shift. It's a childhood dream for most kids on any rink on any Saturday morning. And if you ask any player, adult player, chasing a puck around right now in a local beer league, they will admit that it's also on their mind as well. There are a bunch of interesting guys who have played just one game in the NHL. And our good friend Ken Reed has written about those guys. Ken's latest book is called One Night Only. It's available right now. We all know Ken Reed from his many broadcasts on Sportsnet. And of course, Ken got to start right here on this station in Calgary. Good morning, Ken. How you doing? I'm good, Teddy. Yeah, I used to write news for for this show. For, I remember for BT in Calgary back in the day. Yeah, I remember. It was fun times. And you and I used to play shinny together. So we're a bunch of beer league wannabes who'd love to have one game in the NHL. Exactly. And, and is that is that where you got the idea when you and I were sitting on the bench and we were chit chatting, or what? Uh, yeah, when we were healthy scratches in beer league. Remember <laughs> we were talking that day? No, I, yeah. I, I got the idea because. You know what? I'm a dreamer, like everybody else, and I dreamed of playing in the NHL. That didn't happen. Then you'd always say, I'd "Give anything to play one game." It turns out there's over 350 guys who play just a single game. So wow. I figured there has to be some good stories out there. And this, it started as a hockey book. Yeah. But it kind of became a life lesson. It becomes a life lesson, I think, after you read the book on on how to approach life and and how maybe one day or one moment shouldn't really define a person, and how you can grow from that moment. Yeah, I, Don Cherry is in the book because he's only played one game in the NHL. We'll get to Don's story mm -hmm. in just a minute. First, I wanted to talk about Brent Cron because Brent Cron, mm -hmm. a really good goaltender, played for the Hitmen here in Calgary, mm -hmm. but he he was drafted in the first round by the Flames. He's only played one game though, pro. Croner was big time when when I was covering the Calgary Hitmen when I was working in Calgary, and Croner went first round to the Flames. Everybody was thrilled. The draft was at the Saddle Dome. He had some injury problems in junior that stuck with him through his first couple of years pro. And then the Flames went out and they got that Kippersoft guy. <laughs> so Brent Cron finds himself a little lower on the depth chart. By the time he's 26, he still hasn't played in the NHL. He's been on the bench backing up. He got in for one night for Dallas at the old Chicago Stadium, the horn going off. And he played the third period and he had a smile on his face the whole time. But, but Brent's a guy that he's, if you ever talk to him, he's such a positive guy. He's a great guy to be around. And was he supposed to play more than 20 minutes in the NHL? Yes. But has he let that define him? No. Yeah, he's still in Calgary. He still works in Calgary. He's, he's a great guy. And I keep, keep promising when I come out we're going to have a pint. Probably more than one. <laughs> I don't want to let Leah down, but probably more than one. But he's a guy that just has a ton of stories and supposed to be big time. It didn't work out that way, but that doesn't define him. And I really like how Brent ap approached his 20 minutes in the NHL. The horn's going off. The Chicago Blackhawks are scoring on him. And he's smiling because he grew up listening to that horn. He's thinking, wow, I'm, yeah. I'm in the NHL. Yeah. I, I, another kind of story similar to that, um, uh, minus the first round, is a, another goaltender named Bob Ring that you wanted to highlight wow. this morning. Yeah. You know what? All I knew about Bob Ring when I called him to talk was that he played one game for the Boston Bruins and he played college hockey at Acadia University. Within 10 minutes of talking to Bob, we're talking about the significance of his hockey career because it kept him from going to Vietnam. It kept him out of the Vietnam War. So there's the conversation. I, I didn't know I, that, that this book, I was going to end up talking about the Vietnam War, but I did. Like, it, this, it's, this book took me down so many roads, and those roads all began or were intersected by that one game in the NHL. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and probably the biggest name, uh, last chapter of your book is, is uh, you know, is Grapes, Don Cherry. Yeah. I mean, what's his story? I, it's hard to believe he only played one game pro considering he coached in the league. Don played one game in the NHL, mid-50s, playoff game, Boston Bruins at the Montreal Forum. It was the Bruins' last game of the season. And then, as Don says in the book, I was sentenced to 20 years in Siberia in the minors. Uh, Don's kind of done well. He's done well for himself <laughs> since. And you know what? Thank you to Don Cherry for taking part in this book because Don has a book of his own out right now. It's a great book. Um, and he didn't have to do this for me. But uh, Don, very generous man. So thanks, Don, for being part of the book. All right, what's next for you, Ken? Which, what's the next book that you've covered? Hockey cards, oh. you've done one night yeah. only. What's the next one? Well, I was going to say what's next is go home and go back to bed. But what's <laughs> next book-wise is uh, Dennis Marouk. He was one of 20 men to score 60 goals in a season. But if you were to name off the 60 goal scores, you'd probably be hard-pressed to, to name Dennis. Yeah. Uh, he'd be one of the bottom ones. He'll admit that. He had quite a career after his uh, NHL career ended up. He was a handyman. Get this, Henley. You like hauling oats? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. 
He was a handyman. He was a farmhand for John Oates for a year. Really? He was a he was a bellhop in Aspen, Colorado. He was on a service boat in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. And 10 years earlier, he was dining with Ronald Reagan at the 1982 All-Star Game. So Dennis Marouk, you have his <laughs> hockey card, but there's so much more to that. So that book's coming out next year. But for now, make sure you pick up One Night Only. One Night Only. You hit it right was on that good? Head. Was that good? That, that was I very that? good. Very good. One yeah. Night Only is available right now. Thank you, Ken. Good to chat with you as well. All the best to you and your family and to you our You got colleagues. a little Ed Whalen for me before we go? <laughs> Ken! There you go. There, there's there's Thanks, some Ed buddy. Whalen for you. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Again, the book is called One Night Only, Conversations with the NHL's One Game Wonders by Ken Reed. His second book and his third is in the works right now on Ken Marouk. There you go. 6.54, 9 degrees, Andrew Schultz.